Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here on this planet here in this undisclosed swamp. I'm watching this pellated woodpecker. You can't see this. There's this pellated woodpecker in this tree. I love these big old birds. Uh, anyway, it is uh, Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, as we enter the final 24 hours of the Trumpo scene here on this gorgeous day. Oh, yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is uh, Collapse Chronicles, and I am sorry, I cannot remember the name of our alert listener who sent me this excellent article from some outfit, never heard of them before, M. MPN News. Don't know what MPN stands for right here. But this is from their big tech desk. Uh, and we're going to go look at artificial intelligence in this, uh, in this chronicle of the collapse today. Escaping the singularity why artificial intelligence will not save the planet. The National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act became law on the first day of 2021, opening a back door to America's largest corporations to shield their commercial interest behind the full might of the U.S. government. And uh, I'm going to put the link to this article, and you can sit here and read it yourself. Uh, but if you just want me to sit here and read it on this beautiful day. I'll be happy to do that. Take it away. This is by a fellow named Raul Diego is going to explain this to us. <clears throat> Artificial intelligence has been touted as the next frontier in technological innovation by the world's brightest minds the world's brightest minds and celebrity CEOs like Elon Musk, who predict a hyper-connected future where big data, smart infrastructure, and biology all fuse into what futurist Ray Kurzweil and others call the technological singularity. In his 1999 breakout bestseller, titled The Age of Spiritual Machines, Kurzweil takes the concept first developed by mathematician Werner Vinge about the merger of technology and human intelligence to an absurd conclusion based on a superficial understanding of mankind's spiritual nature in which machines achieve consciousness and coexist side by side with living organisms in a bleak universe bereft of any connection to natural reality. As we move into the second decade of the 21st century, I thought we we're moving into the third decade. Is my math wrong? Is it 2011? Did I lose a decade? Anyway, as we move into what I think is the third decade of the 21st century, the ideas Kurzweil brought into the mainstream are being aggressively pursued by big tech outfits like Google, which currently employs the author as a director of engineering and have been enthusiastically embraced by important sectors of the global economy. Reflecting this trend, the National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act became law on the first day of 2021 officially bringing the full power of the U.S. government to bear through the National Science Foundation, National Institute of Standards and Technology, and the U.S. Department of Energy 
<clears throat> who's already considerable spending on AI research and development, has now been codified into law. <clears throat> Anybody who does not understand the military, industrial, government, corporate uh, takeover of this planet, this is an absolute ironclad example of what this is looking like, where uh, the there is you know it's the it's U.S. incorporated. Uh, Anyway, getting back to Raul. The passage of the bill follows a pattern begun back in the Reagan years when the Republican icon signed the National Security Decision Directive 145, making intellectual property a matter of national security effectively opening a back door to America's largest corporations like IBM and Pfizer to shield their commercial interest behind the full might of the U.S. federal government. This is 30 years ago when uh, this stuff was uh, being put in to uh, plan the uh, NAINA, the National Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act, known as NIIIA in this, uh, you know, New World speak, uh, is a continuation of the undeniable symbiosis between government and corporate America, who are together, together leading us into Kurzweil's AI dystopia, cloaked behind pseudo-environmental marketing devices like the, quote, green economy, or, quote, sustainable development on the commercial end and tired concepts of technological primacy vis-a-vis -vis China on the geopolitical end. But scientists and researchers are finding out the true cost AI will have on the planet belying the claims made by the captains of industry and owners of capital, capital who are moving full steam ahead in their campaign to implement an AI-driven socio-economic paradigm which, as it once designed to rid them of troublesome and expensive human labor, while at the same time rescuing a mortally wounded capitalist system. Yes, uh, one recent study by researchers at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst revealed that the energy required to just to train a number of AI models would far exceed those of current technology and carbon emissions from such a massive energy consumption would dwarf those of what we now consider modern lifestyles. Among their findings, the researchers calculated that at the pace AI is being trained across industries, CO2, CO2 emissions from this activity would equal five times the lifetime emissions of an average car, or 626,000 pounds of carbon dioxide. Experts are warning that the risks to the environment as a result of AI and related emergent technologies, such as the Internet of Things and machine learning systems, are simply not worth it. 
Roy Schwartz of the Allen Institute of Artificial Intelligence characterized the conclusions uh, of the report as shocking and stated that, quote, the larger you make these models, the more energy they consume. Wow. Cautioning that if we continue on this trajectory, quote, we will see a much more significant negative impact on the environment, close quote. Swartz stresses that such massive energy consumption does not stop at the stage of AI training uh, and, and that it is practically impossible to quantify how much energy will be consumed across the world by AI models running in different countries, and he urges better use of data to substantially reduce energy consumption. Yes, uh, so we're going to peek behind the curtain brilliantly covered for years by independent journalist Corey Morningstar. Corey Morningstar is someone who I was hoping to have on the show before I decided not to uh, do interviews for the time being. Brilliantly covered for years by independent journalist Corey Morningstar and others, the ruse undertaken by the world's most powerful corporations and their interlocking interest through international organizations like the World Economic Forum is becoming increasingly clear now. Despite making public pledges to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 45% in 10 years and similar largely meaningless promises, companies like Amazon and Microsoft continue to make enormous investments in AI and so-called, quote, renewable energy infrastructure like wind and solar, yes, which along with the manufacturing of their consumer products require as much or, or more mineral extraction and exploitation of labor in global south nations than 20th century fossil fuel based methods. Thank you that this uh, Save the Planet renewable energy require as much or more mineral extraction than 20th century fossil fuel based methods. This, this is not rocket science. The explosive growth of the technology sector and all of its gadgets in tandem with the illusion of achieving a technological singularity through a digitally interconnected planet only pushes us further into ecological catastrophe. A true renewable energy paradigm and reduction in CO2 emissions cannot come through an economic paradigm predicated on consumption and waste. It requires a culture of conservation and localized subsistence, which the proponents of the singularity have no intention of abiding. Thank you very much. Uh, I like this guy, uh, Raul Diego. I'll have to check out more of uh, MPN News. Uh, and as uh, Raul mentioned, Corey Morningstar.
if you're not familiar with Corey with Corey's work, she uh, th th this woman does her homework. Okay, she has a lot, a lot of uh, information, more information on this. Uh, she has uh, some good information, uh, of course, on uh, the phenomenon, the quickly fading uh, phenomenon of Greta Thunberg which got her in all sorts of hot water and uh, anyway check out Corey Morningstar's work if you're not familiar with hers but I gotta wrap this up because it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and I have to take this little dog on a walk Get out there and enjoy your AI while you still can. Bye, guys.